Hey everyone, Sarah here from MacFix. Got another video for you guys today. Got this really nice MacBook Pro in here. This is a 2018 model, space gray. This is the A1989. So it's a 13 inch. Um, has, has a touch bar and obviously it's really nice still. Now this one's interesting and we actually got this form here. Um, I'm not going to show you obviously the details for it because obviously the customer's uh, information is on there, but I want to show you a basic form. So uh, the customer actually came in and they're saying it's not powering on. They actually went to uh, Apple and Apple pretty much told them there's liquid spill. The customer didn't believe it and now they came back here and they actually gave <laughs> they gave us I'm not going to show you exactly obviously the details but there there it is about it it says oh there's liquid damage blah 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 right it's just a nice little paper it's really nice paper they actually but man you could really feel the quality of the I, I kid you not if it has like this very premium quality paper that's in there but they're in denial about it they don't think there's liquid spill repair and they obviously want us to take a look at it and see what's going on so Right, we did open it, and let's take a look to see what we actually did find here. So I can open it right away, and it's very dirty, it's really dusty. It's showing that there is no power. Uh, it's showing actually five volts in. I can actually show you the guys that. Let me get my voltmeter. But it's okay to do that. Nothing. Oh, blink. Oh, blink. So it's it's constantly shorting. So obviously there is a problem. Now, um, if we take off the back cover and everything, we actually do see. We see there is actually something there. See, it's really dirty. It's really nasty. Well, if I go closer, 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 see that area, the chip in the middle there? See that one? There's a little white around it. Ooh, I'm going to get even closer. See that? That's corroded. That's a U7800. It's a major IC, obviously, on uh, this. And clearly, there is actually liquid spill damage. So uh, we did let them know. They obviously wanted to go ahead and do the repair for it. Um, they're like, yeah, okay, just do it. You know, they're kind of like that on it. And... <laughs> Okay, so we didn't have to talk about it. We didn't have to explain, but it makes sense, right? So it's in here. Obviously, we're going to be doing a repair. I'm going to go under the microscope with them. I'm going to take out the board. I'm going to see there's extra damage other places, but we can clearly see that there, one of the major ICs does have some type of corrosion around it. So I'm going to take out the board first. Uh, it's a little bit nasty all, all around. I can see some rust around uh, some of the areas, too. Actually, I'm going to show that because that's a little bit interesting how it's very rusty close to where. See that in the corner there? It's a little rusty around the screws there. So. Uh, probably liquid's been impacted there too. That's close to where the power button area is as well as there's audio jack there and, and obviously there's USB-C ports there and under there is an I another IC too. There's lots of ICs everywhere, right? So let's go ahead and open it up and we'll go from there. Okay, so remove the board. Let's go under the microscope and actually take a look. Close to where the one side of the ports are. It's not the major concern. We could just brush that off. Just doing a quick little scan. See if there's anything else outside the obvious damage. The power button area looks fine. Looks like the shield did its job, which is good. That's why the shields are there. Right? The little cover plate shields. And here is your major problem. This is the BGA chip. This is a U7800. And let's do a repair for it. Okay, so let's do some cleaning here. We're going to clean it up. Put a little bit of alcohol. Make sure this area is nice and clean. Now, actually, surprisingly enough, the U7800 actually is actually pretty healthy for the most part. We can still cleaning a little bit of overflow there. It's not super interesting, but what is interesting actually is something right next to it. And you can see it there. This capacitor is actually is a little bit loose there. You can see even it is a little bit knocked. You can see a little bit of rust around it too. Look at that. Wow. So the pad's a little bit damaged there, and that's why it kind of fell off. So especially the bottom one, right? So we need to recreate that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to be cleaning it and adding some solder. It's going to so the connectivity isn't going to have any problems, and it's not going to hang off like it is before. And I'll explain a little bit why uh, the bottom one over the top one is a little bit loose, and um, why it needs to connect there more than the other one. Uh, I know I moved the camera up a little bit here. Sorry about that, but we're just basically just resoldering it there, and then we're going to just put it back on. The cap is actually there right now. Um, but yeah, that's the whole point of it there. So we replaced it and that is actually the major, actually the major issue for this one here. So we can see the integrity looks to be good. We want to make sure it's not going to move around and, uh, we're just going to go ahead and clean that up as well. Uh, make sure it's fine. And you can see again, pay attention to the top left corner. That's actually where it was. Clean up a little bit more, get all the flux out of the way. And, uh, let's actually go over to a screen capture here now. Cause I actually want to bring that on up. So here's our board, right? This is a good, this is called a board view and it's nice. Exactly what it says. It's a view of the board so uh, it does a nice thing where it shows like the components and names of the components and we go up here this is u7800 and if we look next to it we had a problem with one of our capacitors that was over here this is the u78b0 and if you look at the top one the top one if you notice right on on our um, 
our board that we had there, there's no problem with it. That's because that was ground. And if we look at the other side, there is a major, um, there's voltage actually going through there. Right? A PV3V3 G3 hot PMU, which is the power management unit. So if we actually click here, you'll actually see where it does impact, right? It impacts a lot of stuff with the U7800, so it does talk and communicate to it. It's a major voltage going there. And if we look all the way up, it's going all the way over to, looks like the other side of the board, where it's impacting all of these other capacitors here. And so it's a major power unit, right? That's power management unit. That's what it is for you. So if you don't have that working, then you definitely have a big issue. So we went ahead and fixed that, and everything looks to be good. So let's go ahead and test it out. There was a little more corrosion, especially like on the battery connection. It wasn't super fun because it just, we just put a little alcohol. Sometimes that fixes it up. Let's go ahead and test it there because uh, we, we did um, work on the main IC there. That's the most important thing. But I think it should actually come on now. Let's see if we get our voltage and everything there. Oh, man, I can't see today. There we go. Plug it in. Fans kick up. Ooh, it came right away. Shows a nice Apple logo. Powering up. And there you go. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing the MacBook Pro um, A1989 model. It's a really nice one. We were in here to do for repair. You see the IC chip did really give a problem, uh, especially the area around it too, but we were able to do a fix for it. So everything looks to be good, powering on, charging. It's great. So hope you guys are watching. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We got lots of liquid spill repair videos. We got data recoveries. Uh, we got some software talks and some fun things too. Go ahead, check them out. And see you guys next video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.